I don't have a gun today. I don't have any bear spray, but I do have a secret weapon. He's a Taekwondo master. <laughs> <laughs> June, more than fishing. Bro. I got a secret weapon here. So oh. we don't need a gun. Oh man, yeah. Oh, there's so much that I want to say, but I don't want to give any spoilers. So check out June's video. Our plan, if we, if we do see a bear, uh, if it charges us, we're just going to stand still. <laughs> stand still. Stand. Get, ah. Yeah, hold our ground. Hopefully it's a false charge. Hopefully we don't even see a bear. Adam, do you think that's a good idea? We just stand still or is that the dumbest idea? We don't, we'll find out. If it charge us, that's the dumbest idea. Yeah, we just <laughs> don't even move and just be eaten. A little in insight into his video. He's looking for a slingshot right now. He's looking for a, a stick with the Y. He's got the bands on it. And he's gonna try to get a squirrel. <laughs> That's his plan. I'm here for it if it happens. I think June found his slingshot over there. So while he gets that ready, I'm gonna get my rod ready. Real simple rig. It's a hook. I've got six pound mono on my fishing rod. So I'm going to put the hook at the very end. So this is all you need. If you want to catch fish, just tie your hook on the end and about 12 to 18 inches above that, put a couple split shots. Guaranteed to catch fish in almost any river in the world. And I do plan on keeping one and possibly cooking it for lunch since I didn't bring any food. All right, look at this. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. There's more over here. It's kind of like a dog. You know, when a dog goes to the bathroom, it goes in the same spot. I don't know if a cow does. A cow just goes wherever it does. But does a bear go back to the same spot and poop in the same spot? Does that look like bear poop to you? I, I don't have that much experience encountering bear poop. But yeah, it's kind of weird that it's all over the place here. But June has his weapon ready now. So <laughs> right in the eye, right in the I'm eye. I'm gonna hit that bear right in the forehead, right here, like David and Goliath with his slingshot. Oh, this is one of my favorite places here. This is where I camped before. Yeah. Look at this. I don't know why this place always stays so open. Smells so fresh. Yeah, up here uh, in December, you can cut down your own Christmas tree. You can come yeah. out here and cut down your own Christmas tree. Yeah. So I think we're gonna do that this year. This is awesome. This yeah, is isn't awesome. this beautiful here? Beautiful. This is where I camped one time and I was talking about shadow people out here at night. I remember listening to Coast to Coast AM back in the day, late at night, like 10, 8, 10 p.m. And they were talking about shadow people. Ooh, gave me that creepy feeling. And being out here camping all alone, thinking about shadow people, that'll really mess with your mind a little bit. Especially if you, if you have the tiniest bit, tiniest bit of belief in that kind of thing. Ghosts, shadow people, spooky stuff. I think the more you think about it, the more likely it is that you'll hear something. Look at all those trees. I think all those trees are dead from wood boring beetles. All these pine trees. All these fallen trees probably already died, but that's a big problem in some places. I'm gonna walk down here. Watch out, the leaves are real slippery. Just fell on my butt. Man, we got some pretty deep water here. It's moving fast, but there could totally be some trout out here, especially right there in that calm spot. Oh man, right in those seams right there. My wife Sarah packed these for me this morning. This is what we're growing. We're farming these up. So these are um, night crawlers. I'm gonna keep them alive so we can add them back to the farm later. I'm gonna give one to Jude right now. 
This is the perfect spot over here. Straight across these rocks, right there in the middle, there is a beautiful fishing hole. And if it were my way, if I could have it my way, I would just have June fish every single hole here. But I got a fish too. So I'm gonna catch one right now, right here. Oh my gosh, how could I not catch one right here? If I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a spinner on from now on after I catch fish here. Oh, fish on, good, decent one. What is this? Oh, that's a, that's a nice rainbow. I mean, nice rainbow. Get, gonna get my hands wet so I can handle this fish. Beautiful little trout. See you later, bud. As long as I'm not gut hooking them, I'll keep fishing for them here. I want to get a good 12 to 15 incher so I can eat it. All right, this has just inspired me to bring out the fly rod. I'm going fly fishing, not today, but I'm bringing out the fly rod and going out to these rivers. I'm so glad I picked up fly fishing when I did. Now I have the basic skills to come out here and catch fish with it. If I had a fly rod, this would be the perfect spot. Right there. Is he gonna come up for it again? Had a bite right here. Yep, there he is. There he is. Oh, little one again. Oh, probably the same one. Same one I just had. Little guy. Looks like a little salamander. Good looking fish, huh? Wild trout. Oh man, beautiful. See you later, buddy. I don't know where June went. He went up top. But I don't think there's any access down here past that. But knowing June, he's going to find a way somehow. Oh, he might be going to look for squirrels. Gosh, look how deep it is here, man. I don't even need a heavier weight. I thought I would, but I don't. There could be some big fish right here. I bet it's 15 to 25 feet deep right there. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, it's taking drag. Oh, yeah, he's jumping up. Oh, baby. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, he's jumping up. Oh, dude, I think this is lunch. I think this is lunch right here. Look at that one. Bro, that's a beautiful fish, man. Look at that. Bro, that is a beautiful 9 to 10 inch trout. Oh, my goodness. I mean, enough protein? What do you think? See, I never had a freshwater live well. I'm gonna keep him in this live well alive for a little while. If he swims out, then he deserves to live, but I'm gonna keep him right here for just a little while. Oh, that's a perfect place for him to swim out, right there, yep. You gonna make it? Oh man, he's so close. Oh, they know how to swim upstream too, huh? That's what he's trying to do, he's trying to get out of here. Dude, that was awesome. I mean, look at that. Squirming like that? How could a fish not bite that? Whatever rivers you can fish a worm, that's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. And this time, I got four split shots. I raised them up a little bit higher. I'm going to cast out into the deep spot. Right there. All right, all right. And all I'm trying to do is tick it right over the bottom. Tick it right over the bottom. Find bottom and tick it over the bottom. That's where a lot of the fish are hiding out behind the rocks, trying to conserve their energy. Man, June needs to get out here quick. I want him to catch some fish. Oh, this one. It's a good one. This is a good one.
Is that the one that followed? Woo. I don't oh, know. That's yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Perfect. Oh, that feels good. A relief. I yeah, <laughs> lost the other one. That's a wild. That's wild. That's wild. Uh, yeah, sure. Everything up here is wild. I don't think they stalk up here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Whew. Man, I'm not sure why I didn't kill that first one while I was trying to take that thumbnail picture. <laughs> but it all worked out because I got another one and it was bigger. June caught a keeper also, so at least he got a keeper fish. A lot of these saplings are growing together so I'm going to use these branches, the green ones, so I can cook with and help out this little area here, clear out the population a bit. It's a rated edge of the blade, works for a great makeshift saw. Now I've got a nice bed of coals on the bottom and I got like a crisscross shape so I can get some nice like a log cabin so I can get some nice ventilation through it and then when I need to add any fuel I can just add some more pine needles and that'll reignite all it takes is a simple blow and there you have it nice fire ready for fish Like roasting a marshmallow. I got this fish on rotisserie right now. Something about being out here and catching a fish and eating it. Just something about that very primitive, just, I don't know what it is. I, it's hard to describe, but just this. Just being out here and doing this and then eating it and then getting energy from it and sustenance from something that you've caught that's wild that's not processed that you don't depend on someone else to make for you something about that is very very rewarding I can't really place my finger on it exactly but but man is this satisfying it's like food for the soul type of thing Just finishing up on a bed of coals. Looks like it's cooked just about perfectly. No burns. Oh, yep. I'm just gonna let this cool down for a minute. Straight off. Oh, look at that. Skin just come right on off. Cooked perfectly. I was gonna let it cool, but I can't. I'm just too hungry. But I've gotta be careful that the whole thing doesn't fall off the stick. Okay, well, we're gonna take the whole skin off this way, I guess. Oh, that was a close one. Oh no, a piece of meat. Ouch, that is hot and it's burning my leg. Definitely more flavor in the skin. Wow, just that bite. Feel the energy coming right back. Man, the meat is just falling straight off the bone. If I was camping out here, I wouldn't be putting this fish on my legs. I wouldn't want that scent on me. Isn't that just wild? Got a wild trout here. 
Now it's in my stomach, and if you needed to live out here, you could. It's good to have some type of skills, right? And that will go right back into nature also. All right, make sure this fire is out. to check on June, and we're gonna start walking back. You're done, June. How was the trout? It was really good. It was good, yeah. I love it. Cooked all the way? I cooked it all the way. Skin on? Yeah, skin. Yeah. I actually like the skin better. I like the crunch, a little crunchy. Yeah, yeah. No squirrels, huh? No squirrels. Let me end my video soon. Oh, you still there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, still no there. squirrels. Hopefully on our way back, we encounter some uh, yeah, yeah. squirrels. Let's all right. Let's do it. Yep, let's go.